Williamson and I'd like to tell you a little bit about volunteering with the Equality Youth JA. Now, as a person that grew up in a Christian home, went to church both on Saturdays and Sundays, I was familiar with preachings against the LGBT community. And so, when I started high school at age 11 at an all-girls institution, this was the first time that I had direct contact with persons of the LGBT community. And I started questioning the teachings that I started to learn from church. And so while seeing the violence that was meted out against them on the television, as well as in the newspapers, I was compelled to volunteer and learn more about them on a daily basis since I would have to interact with them every day. So I volunteered with Jamaica Youth Advocacy Network and through that I developed a love for I developed a love for volunteerism and I was introduced to We Change Jamaica through the Jamaica Youth Advocacy Network where I volunteered with them running at the Sigma Run event last year. So while um, doing that volunteer run, I was made aware of Equality Youth JA and the work that they did surrounding the persons of LGBT community and youth specifically. And I signed up to join the cohort. Now, after I joined the cohort, I've been to various events where I've learned more about people from the LGBT community, the issues they face, and how I can become an ally and help persons within my community or family in my own small way to be, be more tolerant and accepting of their realities. I went to a training at the Royalton Hotel recently, and at that training session, I was taught about human rights and I interacted closely with persons of the LGBT community in an environment where they were not judged and they were not they were not targeted they were they were able to be their true self in the way that they believed that they were true to themselves and I started um internalizing everything that I was learning from them their experiences and because of that experience, I became more accepting of them in my own self and accepting of their realities and more able to speak for them from, a, from an informed perspective when other persons speak against them, as well as to start the conversations within my own family that were not judgmental of them and what they go through on a daily basis. So um, I would say it's been a rewarding experience thus far. People within my community would also speak against persons of the LGBT community. And as a youth leader, I am looked up to by most persons. And so when I advocate for persons of the LGBT community, more so than others of the LGBT community, my message would be more accepted by persons that look up to me. And so I am thankful of the platform that the Equality Youth Jamaica has given me to learn more about persons that are just like me and you, just, um, just as loving and caring as anyone else and are deserving of a fair environment where they can be who they want to be. And so this experience has changed the, con the line of conversations within my home. It's not completely rid of the, the, negative, the negative talks on persons of the LGBT community, but we are at a stage where the conversation is not all negative, but more so questioning. Um, they, they have a more accepting a more accepting outlook on persons of the LGBT community since I've been able to tell them of the differences between 
sexual identity and how diverse the sexual community is within Jamaica.